brought to you by our exclusive fabric partners. Be sure to look for their newest lines of fabric. Hi, welcome to Quiltmaker's Block Network. I'm Shayla Wolf with Quiltmaker Magazine, and today I would like to share with you Fairy Tale Castle, block number 640, designed by Sarah Price for Quiltmaker's 100 Blocks, Volume 7. For this block, you will need a pink for the castle, light blue for the sky, gray for the door, and a dark pink for the bottom of the castle. You can find the cutting dimensions on the right hand side of your screen. To make your units, you are going to use the stitch and flip technique. To do this, you are going to layer your light blue squares into the pink rectangles. Draw a line diagonally across and then sew along the line. Trim out the excess a quarter inch away from your sewn line. Press the patch open. You are then going to repeat this process for the other corner and make your units. Sew the patches into vertical rows and then sew the rows together like this. We are now going to remove the paper from the door so that we can iron it down. Center the door along the center of the castle. Using a hot iron, press the door down and then stitch along the outside to secure it. You will then add the bottom of your castle to the block. And there you go, you have a finished 12 and a half inch block. So that is how we make this size block. But wouldn't this just be adorable as a wall hanging size? What if it was three times the size, so a 36 inch by 36 inch square? Let's do that. There is a basic formula for making blocks bigger. Let's take a look at the cutting dimensions. Patch A is cut three inches by 10 and three quarters inches. Our seam allowance is a quarter inch all the way around. So when figuring the finished size, subtract a half inch from both the width and the height. This makes the finished size of A two and a half by 10 and a quarter. We want to make the block three times bigger, so we will multiply the finished size by three. Two and a half inches times three equals seven and a half inches. 10 and a quarter times three equals 30 and three quarters inches. That will be the finished size for the new larger A. Now we need to add the seam allowance back in for the cutting size. Seven and a half plus a half inch equals eight inches. 30 and three quarters of an inch plus a half inch equals 31 and a quarter inches. So our three inch by 10 and three quarter inch rectangle becomes an eight inch by 31 and a quarter inch rectangle. Make sense? Let's try one more. Patch D is cut one inch by one and a half inch. Subtract a half inch from both the width and the height for the finished size. D finishes a half inch by one inch. Now multiply by three for the bigger finished size. A half inch times three equals one and a half inches. And one inch times three equals three inches. Now add the half inch back to each dimension for the seam allowance. One and a half plus a half equals two inches. Three inches plus a half equals three and a half inches. So the new D patches will be cut two inches by three and a half inches. Try this with the rest of the cutting dimensions for practice, then check it against the PDF before you start cutting. To give you an idea of what the larger castle will look like, here it is scaled next to the 12 and a half inch block. You can find Fairy Tale Castle and 99 other amazing blocks in Quiltmaker's 100 Blocks Volume 7. Thanks for joining us on Quiltmaker's Block Network. See you next time. You can find Fairy Tale Castle and 99 other amazing blocks in Quiltmaker's 100 Blocks Volume 7.